do you do you feel like it's normal for you to be so concerned about like what could possibly go wrong in terms of marriage or like well in terms of yeah everything. i think it might be more general but especially in dating and marriage so you're you're saying that like when it comes to dating i am risk averse yeah like more you than don't the norm more than the norm well i think <laughs> i think i'm i am merely moving and operating the same way that like an average woman would move in terms of my screening process because i think men are honestly terrible screeners and they'll honestly they take are. anything that comes whereas like i think i'm approaching like when it comes to the screening that i do like it's commensurate with like the average woman so am i risk averse when it comes to dating probably but that's smart to a degree, I, it's smart. I, I yeah. think you can miss out on a lot of great girls by refusing by to pay for a first date. No, that's some gangster shit. They love that <laughs> shit. Like, your name is Grace, right? <laughs> what's not paying You for can't what? tell me. Huh? Wait, what's gangster? Not paying for it or paying huh? for it? Huh? Not paying for it. Not paying for it? I mean, yeah. it's not gangster. No, it's cowardly. It, it, honestly, it's How's it cow? Whoa, whoa. If I, pay? <laughs> I take offense. <laughs> I, I take offense. Say. Someone give me a glove. I'm going to <laughs> challenge you to a duel. How dare you, you call me a coward? You can't tell me that if a woman like Grace wanted to go on a date with you, that you'd be like, oh, yeah, she's sleeping with a bunch of men, so I can't Grace? buy this nice oh. lady at a dinner. Oh, no, she's got the Miley Cyrus hair. I don't know. Mm-hmm. No. Wait, so, Ryan, I don't know this about you. You don't ever pay on first dates. There are some rare occasions in which I will pay for a first date. Like you don't even so, go so half and half like it's just mm-hmm. a full you don't, you don't like no 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 I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay you, for my food okay. of course how I pay for my I'm a gentleman right, I'll see, pay for my food that's <laughs> different wait Come what on. if how do you I'm decide when you're like, you're not gonna pay for, for her, her part of the like huh? what does that look like what how does that go like? down oh you want some game I'll give you some game the check comes and you've decided at some point in the date like I'm not paying for her portion what do you mean hold on at some point in the date I've just uh, that's predetermined. Right? No, he has there's, a there's not a de- There's not a decision in the middle of the date where like, I'm not paying for this shit. It's oh. like going in, I don't care how cool she is, I ain't oh, paying for so that shit. Oh, so because you said sometimes you'll pay, sometimes you don't. So I thought like, what? how do you oh, determine okay. that's when fair, you? That's fair, yeah. that's, that's fair. That's why okay, I was okay. like, well, how, right. how are you deciding? You caught me. Yeah. You've caught me. So in the yeah, hold on, one question at a time. Form how a, do you form a line, please. I will answer all your questions in time. When to pay for a date. Yeah. And how do you decide when you're not sure. going to? And what of does course, that look like course. on the date for you? So, there's a uh, it, one thing I'll look at is she's not right income. <laughs> okay. Income. If she's making good money, if she's a professional, she has a career. Under those circumstances, uh, man, Victor I was about to, Apostle I was about donated to cook, bro. Yeah, thank you, Victor. Uh, I feel like Brian is a bit too careful when it comes to dating. But it seems that's not enough looking at how the dating scene looks like in the States. In other places, you don't have all these factors that make it harder for you. Cheers, Brie. Well, I mean, one, one, okay, one thing he's talking about, like, for example, guys have to be cognizant when it comes to the not paying thing. Uh, a, a lot of, maybe not a lot of women, but enough women do what's called a foodie call where they're going on dates with the in, without a genuine intention of pursuing anything whether it be sexually or romantically. Mm-hmm. So they'll, they'll go on a date with a guy because they had nothing better to do and they just want a free meal. No, I'm not saying all women do this, but if you've dated long enough, like you've ran into a girl who's a user, mm-hmm. just like I'm yeah. sure women have, you guys have maybe yeah, ran into it. dudes yeah, yeah. who are fucking so either misrepresenting. So do you know this before the date? Like uh-huh. I can tell she's that kind of woman, so I'm not going to pay. And then why are you taking well, her that's, the first that's place? Well, like that's like a... You know? uh, if that's the determining factor, you wouldn't go if you knew. It why was a are you taking goal. her out? Yeah, I wouldn't go. Right. But like, so how? Are, so when do you not pay for a date? Predetermined. Okay. Well, or? like I was, as I was about to say, if she's a career woman, if she's making her own money, and also like living in California, a lot of women you encounter tend to lean more liberal, progressive. So you kind of like, bro, you're, you can't be feminist until the check comes. You can pay. Like, this is what you asked for. Maybe that's a bit, vin- bit vindictive. But I'd say the main thing is, for example, if she's younger and she's in college or something, like she's 21, she's still in college, under those circumstances, I'd be like more inclined like hmm. more inclined to pay. But honestly, I feel like you can do some even extra gangster shit and just do something for free. Do some free shit. Uh, little, Go for a little, yeah, little, little... So the best <laughs> move, and it's only a couple of walk. men have ever done it, huh? it's when the, the, the thing that I love the most is when 
the man excuses himself to go to the restroom and he pays the bill so that when it when so it's not even an issue at the table so he takes care of the bill and it's done and then they come and they say thank you that happened to me and i swear it was like wow yeah that was a class act because he was like i'm not even going to put her in a position he knows he knows who i am he's like i'm not even going to go there it didn't matter like what I made, what I did, whatever, whatever. He's like, I don't want to make, of course I want to get it. And so he just got it. Yeah, listen, this isn't like what I'm, what I am putting out there is not like the most effective thing you can do. The most effective thing you can do, regardless of what the situation is, whether it's a foodie call, whether it's not, whether she's liberal, whether she's conservative, is to pay for the date. However, as a matter of principle, even though it, comes at my detriment or my potential de- detriment by losing women for me it's kind of like a principal thing because you're trying, you're trying because to if you're like that dating age. liberal women which i mean in my i i'm trying to avoid that in recent recency but like living in california living in santa barbara a super liberal place a lot of the women you're going to counter are probably like lean liberal you they'd probably say i believe in gender equality G- gender roles should be removed blah 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 like i'm not gonna i'm not genders can be equal and have different roles men and women are equal in their dignity yeah but you can't but they can have different roles and they can have and they can be complementary you don't have to say that a woman is lesser than a man to justify paying for a woman's meal no that's that's not what i'm that's not what i'm saying but there are certain gender roles that benefit men and there are certain gender roles that benefit women. Okay. So you don't get to like gen- equality is not a buffet where you pick and choose the benefits which with you which want? you like you mm. you take the the equality that benefits you and disregard the equality that doesn't come to your benefit. That's okay, my view so of equality. So you're saying that if a woman I just for clarification, so if the woman wants the right to vote and the right to an education, then she shouldn't anticipate a man paying for her meal to to sh- to give her a small social cue that he is of a provider mindset. Well, being a provide being in the provider mindset, that's a that's a uh, traditional gender role. I I I'm not sure the the two examples you gave are perfect examples, but I'm trying to think of Maybe like Maybe you could think of one. I'm trying to think of a a better example. Um for example, okay, you want a man who's a leader and who's a protector and who's going to take initiative, right? In what sense? Okay, so, well, paying for the date, that would be like a man being in the leadership position. So if you want a man to be in that leadership position, he ought to have, like, the man in a long-term relationship in a marriage should be the head of the household. In other words, the final decision on any issue is mine. For example, if I don't, if I want my kids to not go to public school Mm -hmm. and I want them to go uh, be homeschooled Mm -hmm. and you disagree with me, it's my call. Right. So I would only marry a man whose judgment I trusted in the first place. Okay. So I'm only going to marry a man where I feel like he would make proper decisions for my life and my children's life and for the betterment of the family. Sure. And so that's a that's a non issue to me. That of so, course yeah, that's here's, what I want. Here's, I want him to be a leader. I if I don't respect him and I don't think he's a good decision maker. Well, you shouldn't be dating him. Then the I wouldn't be then. dating him. So exactly. I, I that that's like of course I want that. I'm trying to think of another example. So well, here's go ahead, Priya. I definitely agree with that, but to an extent, I think that just because I do believe that the man of the home is uh, essentially the the main decision maker there are probably going to be decisions that he's going to make that I don't fully agree with at the at that point in time, but I'm going to trust him and believe because I trust his decision-making capability and I trust that he has my, um, our well-being and the well-being of our, you know, future kids at the forefront of his mind and I have to trust that he's making these decisions for, for that betterment. I agree 100% and I actually think at this I actually think that uh, oftentimes men make better decisions 100% uh, than I would make. And I think I've learned in dating that sometimes men have a foresight that I don't have. 
Um, and if I just defer to their decision and, and what they've chosen, I often find that if I sit back and allow it to play out, it actually is a great decision. Um, whereas when I was younger, I think I might have been like, well, I don't, I don't see that and I'm not sure and I think we should do it this way or whatever. But now, I, I don't know, I feel differently now. So I'm so, saying I agree with you. No, totally. Qu and, and oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, just one more quick point. Um, just women tend to be more emotional decision makers and men tend to be more rational. So I think therefore that's why they it, like historically make better and more uh, trusted decisions. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Is it a man's job to pay on a first date? <clears throat> I think for me, if a man doesn't pay, he's not the man for me. Okay. Most likely. Now, if I were to say so it's, it's a woman's job to cook and clean, do you object to that statement? Or is that okay for you? Um, I think that if someone's in a traditional gender rolled marriage and they've decided like the woman's going to stay home and cook and clean and, and raise the kids and the husband's going to be a provider, sure. like that's fine. Now, now, I'm not, just to clarify, I'm not okay. necessarily saying that that's what I believe. Yeah. But as a woman, even if you're a li liberal leaning woman, you're not yeah. going to get a ton of pushback if you say, I want a guy who, or I think men should pay for the first date. However, okay. if a guy were to say, I think a woman should cook and clean, you're going to get a lot well, Bro, people will be losing their shit over that. If a man wants a woman who wants to stay home and be a homemaker, then he should find that kind of woman. There's lots of women who want to do that. I okay. think that's great. I have nothing sure. wrong with that. Um, I do know women who don't like when men pay on dates, and that's fine too. But you're asking my opinion. Do I think a man should pay on the first date? That's I. People have free will. I they can do whatever they want. All I'm saying is if I go on a date and I go to dinner, if I'm asked out on a date from a man and we go to this dinner and the bill came and he wanted to split it with me, I would split the bill. I wouldn't say anything about it. I would qu quietly my pay my piece. Be d I would quietly like pay my piece of the bill, but I wouldn't go on a second date with him. That's fine. And yeah. look, you, everyone can have... I mean, I don't... Their, their it's, it's not like a big... It's just my preference. Yeah. Okay, but couldn't it be my preference to not want to pay on the first date? It can be your preference, yes. Okay, but you object to it? I don't object to it for you if that's okay. your choice and that's attracting the kind of woman that you want. But for me, if you and I went on a first date and you said, hey, Nicole, let's go out to dinner. We go to some seafood place. I don't know, you're wearing flannel and I'm looking <laughs> great. Flannel. And then the bill came and, and you wanted to, to uh, you said, oh, okay, let's split the bill. I'd be like, okay, great. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be negative in the moment. I'd be polite and I'd split the bill with you, but I wouldn't go out again. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, well, you're bringing up the physical appearance thing, like in terms of a man's dress. I mean, I would simply just reiterate once again, that's while it does add bonus points for a man to be physically attractive or well-dressed, that is not our primary method, at least I believe, of being attractive to a partner. I agree. Um, that's, I think that's more within the realm of, of women. I agree. I, in that situation though, at the same time, like it also does kind of depend on like who, sure. who invited who out. Well, who invited who out? Yeah, but gen generally speaking, men are initiating first dates. If I like split the bill with a man, it's because I'm not interested in him. So I'll uh, sometimes I will offer to split it sure. or to pay it, and yeah. it's because so I'm not interested. No, and look, there, there's, there's definitely saying, there's definitely guys, but, and there's definitely guys that will be if you even offer to split, they might be like turned off by that. There are some guys mm -hmm. who are gonna be like, right? No, no, That's no, no, why no, I would I only do it, that might be if off I wasn't it. interested in him. But then there, there are definitely guys who will look at that mm -hmm. and be like, oh, okay, she wants to equally contribute to yeah. the start of this relationship. Like, and I don't think that makes mm -hmm. a guy like a super liberal soy boy cuck or anything. Yeah. I just I like are, when they reach for it. Do that thing where they pretend that they're gonna like find their purse. They don't. They, <laughs> they have no intention. Honestly, I don't reach. Honestly, the, though, the hottest. <laughs> I, I think the hottest thing a girl could do <laughs> is she just pays for the whole fucking thing. <laughs> like she's a straight up simp. That's so fucking hot if a girl's just a simp. That's actually you. that's actually a good girl. Like she's like, <laughs> that's exactly true. That's called them? Simp. That's mm, called yes. simp. I did that a couple of dates ago. Stop. I went inside to the restroom and I paid the whole bill. No, because it shows that she's really trying. But to I wasn't interested you. in that's, that's that. Actually, that's, 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 that's just your nature. I just got it. Like yeah. I can. Acts of service. Let's go.